What's up all you shredhead freaks? Chaos Force Chris for another round of reviews. Today, all the way from Denmark, we have the right heavy metal band, Pretty Maids. No, not those Pretty Maids. These Pretty Maids. Now don't be turned off by the name. These guys shred harder than a dog and heat fucks. These guys take no prisoners. They'll bang your grandma without hesitation. Pretty Maids have been shredding since the 80s. That's a long time for all you young maniacs combining speed metal and heavy rock elements to bring on the force. Future World was their second album released by CBS Records in 1987. The album charted at 165 on the Billboard 200 list. Not too shabby for a couple of maniacs from Denmark. Hold on, gotta get some coffee. It's like almost bedtime and I'm trying to bang out reviews. Uh, yeah. First off, let's take a look at the cover art. Yeah, look at this. Superb. Simply marvelous. Bombastic colors. Oh uh, yeah. Wicked landscape. Look at that. Look at that fucking landscape. Got trees and shit. By trees, I mean fucking futuristic buildings. Very dreamlike quality. Yeah, just soak it in. Yeah, just eat it up. Yeah. Oh man. Fuck yeah. Bob Ross would be fucking proud. Ronnie Atkin on vocals has a distinct voice, switching between gruff hard vocals uh, yeah, uh, yeah, to soft singing. Vocals, oh yeah, nice melodic, yeah, oh, eat it, ah, oh man, all the wise sounding, perfect. His voice really accentuates the story he's trying to tell on each of these songs. Overall, the guitar work is excellent by Ken Hammer. The guitars really bring on the shred. He knows what he's doing, he ain't no chump. This ain't his first rodeo, he knows what's up. He's bringing on the shred, yeah. Check out those fingers. They know what's going on. They're like, Hey girl, I know how to shred. Come over to my place later. I'll show you what finger play is all about and stuff. You guys know what I mean. Alan Stevie Owen isn't too shabby either on the keys. The rhythm section, Alan DeLong on bass and feel more heat on drums really round out the rest of the album trying to contain the right metal chaos that is bursting at the seams. Pretty Maids masterfully combines speed metal with a touch of glam metal for good measure. Just enough not to take it over the edge. Future World was a title track and is my absolute favorite track off this album. It's just so fucking good. Da, 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 da. The intro, the keys, ah, perfect. We came to rock. Not Twisted Sister, but close. Was a less aggressive track off this album. A little less aggressive. They turned it down a notch. But oh man, oh man, does this track grow on you. Needles in the Dark was a hidden gem on this album. Oh man, it combines everything and has really nice doo -doo 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 keyboard sections and stuff on it. Really good. Love games! That's not how it sounds at all, but it was pretty solid. It was their most commercial sounding track off this album. You gotta have it. It's gotta be a... a it's gotta be in the fucking album at that time, dude. Commercial play. These guys need to make money at the time. Give them a break. But it's really good. It'll grow on you. I swear. Overall, Pre-Made's Future World was a pleasant discovery. Most excellent when I found it in the record store. I saw it. I said, you know what? I think we're gonna take a chance on this goofy looking... 80s heavy metal band. And you know what? I'm fucking glad I did. If I wasn't going bald, I'd grow out my hair just like these maniacs. Look at them. Oh my god. Look at those maids. It's fucking beautiful. Why don't all the commercial heavy metal bands have this shit, dude? Oh my god. Anyway, like I was saying, 
I really enjoy this style of music. 80s heavy metal at its fucking finest. Speed metal, glam metal, a little bit of power metal, Halloween type shit. Although, I will say this. I kind of like this better than Halloween's Future World. Just a little bit. Just a, just a smidge. This is an incredible album that any right heavy metal fan would be proud to own in their collection. I give this album a five and a half rating out of three. Why? Because I fucking can! <laughs> like, share, subscribe, chaos force or die. <laughs> shred bruh, shred bruh, shred bruh.